Hello, bonjour, hola. Welcome to Languages. I'm Mrs. Cola Lewis, subject leader for languages, and along with my team, I'm pleased to present to you the year 11 curriculum information for languages. I'd love to be fluent in any other language. It's boring, isn't it? Only not knowing one language. I do want to travel like quite a bit. It is nice to kind of respect the culture that you go and visit. Most people in the UK only speak English, around two thirds in fact. But a recent survey by the British Council has found one in four people actually regret never learning another language. So what languages can you speak? I speak a bit of Japanese. Yeah, I speak uh, Somali. I speak Patwa and a bit of Punjabi as well. I'd love to be fluent in any other language. It's boring, isn't it? Only not knowing one language. So I would like to like improve my Spanish in the future because I'm not using it too frequently since I'm in the UK. I do want to travel like quite a bit, like when I've got more funds. <laughs> it is nice to kind of respect the culture that you go and visit. The UK is very multicultural. You know, there's a lot of different languages being spoken. The UK seems like a, a country that's open to learning new languages. So why do students choose to study languages? I have been lucky enough to have four students with me today who are telling you why they have chosen to do G language GCSEs. Hi, I'm Hannah. I chose to do a foreign language for GCSE as I wanted to broaden my opportunities to travel and potentially live and work in a different country. I found it hard to pick what I wanted to do for GCSE, but I found that doing a language gives you confidence and broadens your outlook on different cultures. Hi, I'm Jack. I decided to do a language at GCSE as it opens so many doors for the future if you're able to speak another language. It is also a great way to learn more about a different culture of which you are not exposed to. Hi, I'm Daisy. I picked a language GCSE because I wanted to learn new language as well as a new culture. I really wanted to learn more about other countries and how their cultures are so unique and different to our own. Hi, I'm Rory. I chose a language for GCSE because I believe it's one of the most rewarding subjects. Unlike other lessons, when learning a language you are actually learning a skill that can be used for your future life. There is a vast array of career opportunities open to linguists, ranging from work with well-known multinational companies to international organisations or charities. These are exciting opportunities, often involving travel abroad in almost every sector. You are freeing your career options by choosing languages. So what topics do we cover at GCSE? Well, the government have come up with a new way of doing a language GCSE, which incorporates six themes. These are theme one, my personal world, theme two, lifestyle and well-being, theme three, my neighborhood, theme four, media and technology, theme five, studying and my future, and theme six, travel and tourism. So if you have an older sibling who has also done a GCSE in a language, their course would have looked very, very differently. We are building upon our already built foundations of grammar, vocabulary and phonics. So the assessment, we've already covered some of the aspects in, during our lessons in year nine. And the exam is split into your four skills of listening, reading, speaking and writing. Your listening is split into two sections, section A and section B. Section A is where you respond to multiple choice, multiple response answers, or some short answer open response questions. These are all in English and students produce all their responses in English also. The section B is a dictation. So basically, 
you'll be hearing something and you'll be assessed on your ability to transcribe spoken German into written German or spoken French into written French or spoken Spanish into written Spanish. For your reading, again, that will also be in two sections. Section A, where you'll be reading and understanding, and again, responses are either multiple choice, multiple responses, or short answer, open response questions based on these texts. Again, all questions are set in English, and students produce responses also in English. Section B will have a translation into English from the target language. So either German into English, French into English, or Spanish into English, depending which language GCSE you're thinking of continuing with. Your speaking element is done with your teacher. So don't worry, no one from outside will come in and that will be happening with your normal classroom teacher. You'll be assessed on the ability to communicate and interact effectively through speaking. So your task one will be a read aloud activity. Task two is a role play and task three is a picture task followed with a little bit of conversation relating to the picture. And then last is a writing task. For foundation, those are four questions with question one being a picture based task, question two being an, an open response question, question three having a choice again of an open response question which is a longer writing task usually up to 90 words and then question four is a translation either into German into Spanish or into French so unlike in a reading paper it's the opposite way for this one and the higher has only got three tasks so again you have a choice of two but you need to do one of them which is an open response question up to 90 words you'll be writing for that one Question two is an open response question. Again, you'll be given four bullet points and you write a longer response for that up to 130 words. And then there's a question three, which is translation into German or into French or into Spanish. And that will be the makeup of your entire GCSE. So we aim to cover a theme, a term, with hopefully being able to complete the course by Christmas of Year 11 studies, allowing us to keep the remaining time to do a revision and going over previous topics, which we may have found a little bit more difficult. The exams start with a speaking exam after our Easter holidays, so from April, and then we have normally the exam season during May and June where your listening, reading and writing papers will be scheduled for along with your other exams which you also happen to be taking. So when you first joined us at Kundian School, your language lesson started off on the three strands of using vocabulary, grammar and phonics to build your foundations. You very quickly built up 450 high frequency words, which we've practiced using things like language nuts, and we're confident using some present tense sentences and building up some simple sentence structures. Within year eight and year nine, you've increased your high frequency words to now being able to go into 900 of those. At GCSE, we will work up to those up to 2000. And those words will also be made up of some topic specific words, but it won't be any more. So those 2000 words is what our GCSE will be made up of. Within that, we will practice the past tense, the future tense and extended sentences, but we'll also come across some other imperfect tenses, blue perfect, conditional, and some complex sentences which make up the grammar of our GCSE course. The 
Themes we will cover from theme one to theme six will integrate all of the grammar, vocabulary and phonics, which we've been covering already in year seven, eight and nine, but be a little bit more theme based, as you can see. And from there, it links into quite nicely into the A-level course, which is studying the culture throughout the study of advanced language and looking specifically at some historical events and structure of society, education and politics. So if you have some look at some frequently asked questions of what support do you offer? Well, we have a dedicated and approachable teachers and we are all specialists in our language. We offer detailed online vocabulary courses and all teachers do regular marking and feedback so the students have known what they've done really well at and what things they might need to improve for some further study. We also do fortnightly sessions in our purpose-built language lab to develop speaking and listening skills and do our vocabulary recall in those too. And then we also provide revision guides to make it a little bit simpler of what to revise, when to revise and how to revise them. If you'd like any further information about this course, please contact myself, Mrs. Cola Lewis, via email on vcola at coomdean.co.uk, or likewise, you can ask your child to go and speak to their languages teacher, who I'm sure will also be able to supply them with the right answer. Thank you very much.